If you fail to equalize, here's what happens. When you're just three feet, or roughly one meter below the surface, the water pressure against the outside of your eardrums is about 10% more than the surface air pressure in your middle ears. Your eardrums start to flex inward, reducing the volume of the cavity and effectively equalizing the pressure. You may sense this as a slight feeling of pressure in your ears. At six feet, or roughly two meters, the pressure differential rises to 20% more than at sea level, and your eardrums bulge further into your middle ears to compensate. The nerve endings in your eardrums become stretched. You feel definite pressure, and most people start to feel pain as well. Beyond six feet, or roughly two meters, your eardrums become stretched to their limit. At this stage, Unless you have equalized during your initial descent, almost everyone feels significant discomfort and or pain. The tissues in your middle ears may start to tear, and small blood vessels may start to break, causing internal bruising that can last up to three weeks. As the pressure differential builds, your eustachian tubes shut, making equalization impossible, and your pain increases. At 10 feet, or 3 meters, if your eardrums haven't broken yet, the pressure differential draws fluid from surrounding tissues and blood from broken capillaries into your middle ears. This is called middle ear barotrauma. Fluid, not air, now equalizes the pressure on your eardrums. The acute pain may subside a little and be replaced by a feeling of fullness in your ears, which will likely remain for a week or more until the fluid is reabsorbed by your body. If you descend beyond 10 feet or 3 meters without equalizing, your eardrums can break, causing water to flood your middle ears. The sudden exposure of the middle and inner ear to cold can affect the balance mechanisms in your vestibular canals, causing sudden vertigo. Of course, if you equalize frequently by letting in air through your eustachian tubes, there will be no pressure difference, no stress to your ears, and no symptoms of barotrauma.